Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerson.com. Here to bring you guys your bi-weekly love forecast for June 12th to the 26th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we gonna talk about today? Well, this is the spread that I was talking to you guys about that I promised you guys where I was going to break up both the couples and the singles. So we're gonna do the couples first, then the singles afterwards. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on? I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. All right, so it looks like Scorpio, you guys are being very logical. You're trying to use your intelligence here. You're trying to, trying to be wise in your decision making here, um, using your intelligence. And also, you could be doing the Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. The reason why you're using your intelligence in this situation is because you have a sense that there's some blockages, delays, or challenges here with this mountain cart energy. Um, so three is about coming up with a creative solution, possibly more than one choice or option there with the three card energy. And you're just trying to be logical. You're trying to use your wit, your intelligence to take charge of your situation. So the block, it seems to be uh, something that's not making you quite happy here with the 10 of cups energy because of something that you feel needs to end or stop here with the coffin card energy. Or for some of you, it could be because of someone's happiness of wanting to end or stop something here or something that ended or stopped with the coffin card energy. So tens are about completion. Eight is putting the work or effort into that. At the foundation, there's a waiting around here to see how things are gonna play out here with the seven of pentacles energy, right? Um, there's a person that feels like, I've invested a lot of time in this. I'm just gonna see how things are gonna play out here. There's one person that's like ready to kind of move forward. The other person's like, no, 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 no. I'm not ready, quite ready yet. And it's because of stability or stableness, possibly because of a job with the anchor card energy, or there's a feeling like, okay, this is an anchor. This is something I'm used to. There's stability and stableness. This has been around for a long time. That's the anchor card energy. There's a lot of thinking and contemplating about putting the work or effort into this or thinking and contemplating, all right, I gotta put the work or effort into the situation. That's going on at the foundation. In the past, there was some issues possibly with commitment with the uh, Knight of Wands energy or something with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, or there were some kind of passions going on here. Someone was taking actions towards passions and uh, possibly maybe was being a player there with the Knight of Wands energy. And it looks like the tree card shows me that there was some healing and recovery that happened here, or there was an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy that you felt very passionate about. And there was some healing and recovery around that issue or that person. Uh, fives are about some challenges or changes, and the knights are about some kind of action, right? So at the head of the matter here for you guys, you're ready for an opportunity of true love or new love, Ace of Cups energy because of a particular person. Or maybe you're in love with a particular person here, Ace of Cups energy. Because ones are about an opportunity and two plus nine is 10, 11. You're wanting some kind of choice here pertaining to some kind of opportunity. And obviously we have at the head of the matter, true love or opportunity of love at the head of the matter. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with the near future. So there's a defensive energy, nine of wands. There is a bit of a defensive energy. There's a person that feels like something's eating away at this situation. Something's gnawing at me. Something is causing me stress. Something is gonna make me feel like I'm gonna get hurt here. And it's because of someone's happiness or something that is revealed about a situation. That's the sun card energy when Lenormand, something can be revealed. Something to do with luck, big luck. Um, but I, I do feel like you guys feel defensive. You feel like you're gonna get hurt somehow. But I know that there's a light coming through the window. So I feel like there is some light being shed on this, this stress, this anxiety, this defensiveness. Or the person that you're dealing with feels, feels like they have their wall up because they feel, defensiveness, they feel defensive about their happiness. Four is about stability and stableness. 
and nine is about some kind of wishes being fulfilled here. So how do they see you? They see you as someone who wants some kind of arguments and disputes, or they see that there's some kind of arguments, disputes, or challenges here. You have the whip card energy. Something they feel is hurtful. Something is repetitive. Two is a choice. Five is some kind of challenge or change here. How do they feel about you? They feel like they're trying to gain that mental clarity. They're trying to be clear mentally here. They want that victory here. Mentally, they are trying to gain a clear perspective of things. And they feel like you and them are spiritually connected. They are trying to be optimistic about things. So this person feels like optimistic about it. They feel like you fulfill their wishes. They feel like there is an opportunity for uh, success here or a victory here with the Ace of Swords energy, but they just are trying to gain that mental clarity because they see that there's a lot of arguments and disputes and hurt and pain here. And they may even feel, they may see that they, you may feel like there's some kind of competition or something that's repetitive about things with the whip card energy. Mm. Seven is a lot of thinking and contemplating about this particular opportunity. So what's the influence here? There is a person that's still getting over some hurt or pain, Ten of Swords energy. There may be some depression going on here with the Ten of Swords energy. The way that person looks in that card, it's like someone is like laying in bed and they're just like hurt and they're just like, they're just recovering from something here. They're feeling really hurt and they're trying to recover. So, and the ship card represents some kind of movement, change or travel. So I feel that there is a person that's trying to get over some hurt or pain and they want some change or they want something to do with travel or there's something to do with a distance or some kind of movement around this. That's the ship card energy. Um, 10 is a completion. Three is um, working towards a creative solution, having more than one choice or option. Three card energy. Okay. What's going to be the outcome here? And then we're going to move on to your advice. Queen of Wands, there is an attractive, sexy energy there. Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Why is that there? Because of a letter or a message from this particular person, possibly for some of you, or a document, a letter, a message, okay. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This brings new ideas, new perspectives because of a friend that could be bringing this new ideas, new perspective because of something to do with loyalty, because of friendliness. That could be the doll card energy. Let's keep going. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You're wanting to make wise choices when it comes to love and romance. And there is love here with the heart card energy. Okay, let's go through this. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There is attraction. There is a, a chemistry here. And uh, there's a patience when it comes to passions because of seeing things from a new way and a new perspective and being wise in your decision making when it comes to love. You're gonna hear some kind of messages, text message, Facebook message, or something to do with something official with this document from a friend or uh, because of loyalty and love. So this message could be because of loyalty and love for you. And this is gonna give you new perspective and new ideas about the situation. And, and it, there's gonna be a sexy, chemistry to that with the Queen of Wands. Or for some of you, since we're seeing multiple court cards, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, because they're all court cards there. And then Lenormand is pretty straightforward. A message, a letter, something written, and something to do with a friend, or friendliness or loyalty about love. So let's get you guys some advice. So there's some messages coming in. You're going to hear from this person about love because if we mirror that card, there's a message. What's the message about love? And then why is it there? Because of this dog card energy, loyalty, friendliness, or a friend. And the dog is there because of new ideas, new perspectives. The letter coming from, if we look above that, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Or it's because of something to do with some, somebody who's attracted to you, someone who finds you very sexy and attractive. Okay, so bear with me for a second while I clear this out of the way so I can get you guys your advice. And then we're going to move on to the singles here. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, can I have some advice? Okay. Okay, be become immune to poison. Oh, okay, Scorpio. <laughs> the whole world can gossip about you and if you don't take it personally, you are your imma your immature or maturity to poison the middle of the hell is the gift of the second agreement. Okay. So I feel like what it's saying uh what it's saying to me is uh, don't allow others to kind of poison your thoughts or your opinions about things, okay? Just grow an immunity to this. Don't don't let it affect you. I'm gonna pull another card. That card is just so outrageous. All right, um, culture and faith. Cultivate and faith. Um, have, uh, okay, to uh, great faith is to have great power because your intent, your will is undivided. When your world isn't in despair by doubt, the power on your word becomes even stronger. So I feel like it's saying don't doubt yourself, okay? And don't allow others to doubt yourself. If you have good intent around the situation, then don't feel doubt about it. Have great faith that things are gonna be okay. And I'm gonna pull one more card. Okay. Don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself. And it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. So don't overdo yourself. Don't overwork yourself. Um, don't overwhelm yourself when the situation, okay? Take it easier on yourself. Be easier on yourself in the situation. All right, my darling Scorpios, we're gonna move on to the singles. All right, so what's going on with my Scorpio singles for June 12th to the 26th? Scorpio singles, magic love life. Okay, so there is some kind of soulmate connection happening in the current situation, or there's something to do with the love here with the Two of Cups energy. The blockage seems to be some challenges, maybe a strong attachment, some procrastination happening here with the devil card energy. I still, uh, with the current situation for some of you, you've, you're, you're feeling like you're connecting with a soulmate connection, right? Or there's a choice you're making with the heart here. And there's some procrastination around this or some, some kind of challenges there. At the foundation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, you're trying to be logical about things with the King of Swords energy. In the past, you had a lot of arguments, disputes, or competition here with the five of, sword, five of Wands energy. At the head of the matter, you feel like someone's not being completely honest with the Seven of Swords energy. You feel like something's deceptive about the whole thing with Seven of Swords energy. And then coming up, that's your energy, Scorpio. Death card, You've, you're wanting some kind of ending or something to stop here or some kind of change here with the Death card energy because of being patient. Should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? So you're just wanting that to end. You're like, all right, I'm getting tired of this. Should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? And you just wanna be happy here with the sun card energy. So you're ready for some changes here. You're ready for some transformations here pertaining to your feelings. And you're, you're just gonna be happy here. You're gonna focus on your happiness here with the sun card energy. Or for some of you, you could be dealing with another Scorpio, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with that Queen of Cups. So for some of you, you're making some big changes. You're ending something to start something new. You're deciding to not debate your feelings here and just to be happy with Sun card energy. And for others of you, you decided to like, all right, I wanna focus on my feelings for this person, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and I am going to be happy about it with the Sun card energy. All right, so let's get you guys some advice. Scorpio singles. Show me cards I need to see. Okay. Release the need to be right. 
Uh, when you believe something, you assume you are right and you even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. So um, don't feel so defensive. Don't have your guard up so much. Just I'll, I'll allow, um, when it comes to your romantic love life, this defensive energy is, is it's hurting you in a way. So just, um, just pull back a little bit more. Um, let's see. Uh, this one. <laughs> Become immune to poison. Yeah, this one's like don't allow others' op opinion or uh, bad things to kind of, you know, um, put you on a defensive there. And say goodbye to sadness and drama. All the sadness and drama you have uh, live in your life was rooted in the making of assumptions and taking things personally. The whole world of control between humans is based on the take. A moment and consider this so they're saying try not to dwell on your sadness try not to dwell on the bad things in your life try to see it from a po more positive uh, perspective all right all right my darling Scorpios I love you guys so much if you like this please like and subscribe and you guys have to let me know if you like this new bi-weekly the way it is with the couples and the single separated and if you want me to keep it put the thumbs up and comment below if you don't comment below let me know I love you guys so much and I will be seeing you soon.